Okay. We will do a walkthrough for a very easy vulnerable machine called ridiculously easy vulnerable machine that has been added recently to vulnerable hub website. So basically this vulnerable machine is it's very easy to catch and we have many we have many flags to catch in this vulnerable machine then we will have to get access for this. I'm going to walk you through how we will catch those flags and then how we can have root access. First thing first is the nmap scanning for the host. As you can see, it's scanning right now. But I'm not going to wait this as I have done this. I'm going to show you how to walk or to uh, see every open ports and how you can figure out what are running or services are running on those ports. So basically, one of the open ports that's going to show up right now is the port as I remember is 60,000 so basically this is uh, open open ports on the vulnerable machine so basically you try to, to end net cut to this vulnerable port and as you can see we, we have been able to connect that port to that port okay so the end scan has been finished so here this is the port i am talking about and here are the let the rest of the ports okay so trying to connect with the open port will yield a reverse shell if i list the directory files i can see the flag file which is the first flag cat and here we picked up the first flag okay so we are done of this port so another port is which is this port and this and here I'm going to show you how I connected connected that ports so here I tried to open okay here I tried to open a netcat shell to this open port and the connection has been successful as you can see here I got a flag they found my backdoor worry okay now the next flag the next port which is three twos two twos as you can see here once i connected it shows me or it showed me that it's an open ssh and nothing to, nothing to do right now for this this is for the port 60000 as you can see here so then after i finished from those ports and got two flags i moved out to the port which is uh, port 80 and port 9090 so basically if you open your browser here and if you navigate to the port uh, on the vulnerable machine you will see um, i mean it's like a flag here you'll catch another flag okay then we have here the port 80 okay so this port 80 i have done some sort of to scan for it as you can see, I've done a little scan for the vulnerable machine and it showed me that there is a directory called passwords here. I navigated to this um, directory here. Okay. Oh, this is Robert's text. So here, directory passwords, as you can see here, it's telling you that Mordi is really very clever storing password in a file called password.html. You've really done it at this time. And if we click on viewport source, I can see the password is wonder. Okay. So we keep this password in mind because it's going to be, it's going to come in handy next time as we walk and progress in our testing. So I'm going to keep this open and close this. Okay. Now, what to do right now? I have a password just winter. Then I try to do some sort of uh, here, the poster attack to figure out additional directories in the vulnerable machine. And I figured out a directory called robot.txt. I'm going to show you this. Robots. Robots. Okay. There it is. I navigated to this directory here as you can see it showed me that I have 
additional directories CGI pen if you navigate to this you will not get anything it's going to tell you that shell is under construction and then tracer tool here as you can see here it's like a box for entering to the tracer for an IP address if you try to inject some command after the IP address you will get this um, output for example minus n I'm gonna grab the first hundred lines for this trace you will see here that you have the usernames and the website is vulnerable to command injection attack I tried to download I mean a PHP reverse shell from this box but I failed miserably because the directory here failed to or I mean I have no permission to um, download or edit the current directory here so I failed in this and here you will see that I have many users here one of them is Summer Morty and Rick Sanchez and if you remember that we have a password called Winter so this make some connection or link or relation to this username so you may have a username which is summer and a password which is winter so basically if we minimize this and go to our yeah. okay Let's see the other. Okay, I've done from this. Okay, now here, as you can see, that I've tried several times for the password and it doesn't work. But here, I tried to FTP to the vulnerable machine here, as you can see, for the for the username Summer. I entered the password which is winter and the login was successful from here. I was able to navigate some directories here and the most important is as you can see that I got a flag here in the current directory which is as you can see here flag in the directory Morty. Okay. And also I got some files, journal text file and Safe password no gbg file now this safe password file if you go to your terminal here I have downloaded the, the file to my machine here to my root directory and if you show a command strings for the password for the uh, file where's the password okay which is a safe password gbg as you can see paste here you will get another flag for this or tell you it's, it's gonna tell you for another password here's a password for the um, file which is journal.text.zip it's gonna give you another flag and here as you can see we have got access to uh, the FTB for the summer username and more username and we also we have another username which is as we can see it's Rick Sanchez it might be the root because I have tried to escalate my privilege in FTB here and my attempts have gone in vain so then I thought I, I thought if I can let me go down I thought if I if I could brute force the password for Rick Sanchez username, so I have used Hydra for this. Where's Hydra? Okay, going let me close this here. Going down a bit. Close this and this.
Okay, now here I thought that I could brute force the password for the username Rick Sanchez on the port SSH, which was uh, three twos, two twos, as I'm gonna show you here. Here I used Hydra for this, okay, with the username Rick Sanchez that is suspected to be the root, okay, and with a word list I have created, which is passed to text on the vulnerable machine this protocol SSH and the port three twos, two twos, and it has detected and figured out the password for this username. If we try it to SSH to that username on the port three twos, two twos, uh, Rick Sanchez here. One nine two one six eight. It's gonna ask us for the password, and we will put the password that have been figured out by Hydra, and we have access to Rick Sanchez. But we are, I think, we are not root, as you can see. It's Rick Sanchez, so I have to escalate my privilege simply by doing sudo minus i. I'm gonna be asked for the password the same password for the Rick Sanchez again and we get root access for my root and cat which is the last flag mm, nano which is the last flag and has 30 points so as you can as you saw it's very very, very easy for the machine all you have to do is enumerate the services figure out what are the open ports try to work your way on exploiting or trying to get your way in those ports establishing connections capturing flags and as you can see we we have utilized some kinds of Man injection to figure out what are the users that that are using this, the uh, services which are SSH, FTP, and then we try to brute force the passwords, and hopefully it has worked. Thank you for watching.